Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is April 24, 2024, and here is the Stacker store. And here we have the merchandise. That's the Stacker embroidered hoodie, large logo, $30.95. There is no there's no hoodies that are more than $30.95. I don't know what's going on here. That is not true. Uh, look at this. We got the Stacker mug. I'm going to be ordering that one today. I can't wait. That looks pretty sweet. And then the Stacker beanie. I'm all about that. So I'll be enjoying my uh, coffee or my tea when I'm doing my oh, and that too. That's going to be pretty epic. Look at that. The Stacker foil sticker. Everything's called the Stacker this or the Stacker that, right? So that's pretty much where we're going and it just looks like an infinity on the products there and then we do have the stacker foam trucker hat as well so try to keep these products as light on the wallet as possible um i can't get any lower than that they won't let me and uh don't go to the ones that say 32 or 34 stick with the ones that say 3095 all right yeah there whoops hey there it is 3095 and it comes in small medium large extra large 2XL, 3XL, and you can add it to cart. See, look, the price right there, $30.95. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Now, over here to MoneyMetals.com. Gold down $605 to $23.26.50. Silver down $0.17 cents to $27.31. Platinum up a dime to $9.23, even Stephen. And palladium down a dollar, even Stephen, to $10.54.90. You're looking at it in stock, American Silver Eagle, whose premium is $8.79. You're going to get out of there for a total of $36.10 each for a quantity of 1 through 39. And yeah, they'll buy those back for $29.34 each, which is actually, seems pretty high, actually. All right, now, over here to bullion sales at the United States Mint, we have one, well, one week left of reporting sales at the United States Mint. I don't know, but one week from today is, that's right, May Day, May 1st. May 1st is going to be one week from today. And will we see any other sales? I think we could, absolutely. Um, will they mirror the data that we're seeing here for February and March for the American Silver Eagles at 1.7 million? Or, yeah, I just, you never know. I just, my my fingers are crossed. There's still hope. Okay, here we go. We're going to be talking about the cumulative sales figure here at the United States Mint, and there is some interesting news to report. But first, yeah, look at this. Okay, let's go here. Bam, there it is. The American Innovation $1 coin featuring the state of Alabama. If you were around yesterday at the United States Mint around 7.30, you noticed that all four product options had the shiny candy-like red button. And they, well, I want to say one product stayed till about 6 o'clock in the evening yesterday, Eastern Time. And forget which one exactly that was. I want to say it was the Philadelphia bag, uh, this one here. But yeah, as it as this morning at 6.41 a.m., it is gone. It is no longer available. In fact, all product options no longer have that shiny candy like red button. Now here's the here's my I want to say theory because I got the Denver roll, no problem, easy peasy put in pie. But look at this. The Philadelphia roll didn't get that. My order was canceled two days ago. And then the following morning is when we saw the candy like shiny red button. So I would imagine those orders that we had seen were from canceled orders or orders that were undeliverable and the United States Mint was reconciling orders. You know, typically what we see in the first week of the American Innovation Dollars, and we saw this back, I want to say, in 2022 or 2023, where they would just sell out and be, like, unavailable for everybody. But then a week later, maybe a week and a half later, the Mint would unroll, well, unload thousands upon thousands uh, for each different product option. And it was like, hey, what are you guys doing over there? I thought this was sold out. You know, it's important to know the demand so that we could set prices on the secondary market. And when the mint unloads a bunch after having the, you know, shiny candy like red button disappear and go to the blue remind me, well, you would think it's gonzo, but it's not. So that's something that we, and I mentioned that the first video I made about the American innovation coin from Alabama, you know, the rocket coin saying, hey, you know, let's take this with a grain of salt. All right. So hopefully you were able to pull some of these. If you didn't, that's all right. Um, there's still bunches of them on the secondary market. Now let's get down to the core products, that's right, the cumulative sales figures for, yep, there we go. This is the greatest generation and the Harriet Tubman. And I'm really happy for the United States Mint for these two particular uh, commemorative coin programs. I'm really happy for the greatest generation because, you know what, it, it's 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 past due, right? And as far as the Harriet Tubman, it is past due as well. A little late, and I would really love to have seen the Harriet Tubman family uh, be a little bit more involved in that uh, particular coin program. That would be outstanding. 
that is amazing. So let, let's look at the sales here. And we're going to just basically compare and contrast. We had a pretty good bump last week, but I don't think that we're seeing that for this week. So these are the sales that ended on 421. That was just three short days ago. That puts us on Sunday. So we're going to go here back to coinnews.net. Mike Unser, April 17th, title of this article is U.S. Mint Sales, Alabama Innovation, $1 Rockets. It's a strong debut. And that's really the um, the the vernacular or the language they should be using for a coin, right? It launched into the stratosphere. All right, sales decline. Here we go for the numismatic products of the commemorative coins. So, yep, look at that. Greatest generation, half dollars, sold 14,121. Well, clearly we are at, what, 14,351. Not a big not a big push. In fact, not a big push for a lot of the products here on the uh, commemorative coin program side of things. And I was wondering, what is up with that? What else is going on at the United States Mint where sales would kind of just fall flat? It's interesting. Um, let's and, and let's go a little bit further in here. Let's look at the greatest generation silver proof because that one had the greatest movement last week. So 22,852. 22,852. Yeah, another 500. Okay, so that's another 2%. 22,852. That's a remarkable number, folks. It really is. Now let's look at the uh, Harriet Tubman proof silver dollar. 16,729. 16,729. And I think we're over here. 16,729. Yeah, another 200 added there. It's remarkable um, how well these have sold. And at the end of the year, I'd really like to compare and contrast these sales to the other commemoratives from the following years. Not last year, because we didn't have a commemorative last year, did we? All right, and then the three coin set, 3781, and then 3670. Really, um, are those, do we expect those to be huge sellers? Not so much, but it is incredible that they're still available and they are selling. Uh, Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, didn't look into that one. I'm not sure where that 1500 came from for the uncirculated Peace Silver Dollar, but there it is. Interesting number. Liberty of Britannia. Oh, boy. You know, this is the um, the greatest story so far this year and the saddest story at the same time. Look at this. Now, we are at 5492 with the negative four from the previous week for the Liberty um, and Britannia gold coin right there. So 5492, I think that puts us here um, at 5478. Yeah, we're seeing further losses further and, and actually uh greater than the four than we saw from last week all right so that's kind of sad um and then we're here here we are for the uh liberty and britannia silver medal and folks we really don't know the price of this particular um program for the liberty and britannia now we have seen some of the prices realized for the britannia and liberty okay on the other side of the pond on that action and they are doing quite well and now obviously the pre-sales are doing quite well also but really let's be Let's be real. You don't really have an idea of what it's worth till it's in hand, and it's been a few months, and things cool off a bit. That's when we really are going to see what this metal is worth. And I really, I'm, I'm, you know, it's on my order sheet at the mint. All right, and um, when it ships, hopefully in late May, which is next month, right? About a month from today, maybe a month from tomorrow. Either way, um, yeah, I hope I get it. If I don't, I'll be one of those sad people in this category right here, negative 25. So 32,779, 32,779. Yeah, another, yeah, what another 24 of 25? Gonzo again. So could we be losing 50 uh, per week, which is 200 per month? Ouch, right? So those people would be pretty sad that they didn't get that. I, I, and I feel bad for them. And I'm going to feel bad for myself if I don't, because I really want that bad boy. All right, clad proof sets. Here we go. Look at that. That lost 9,881. And that's typically what we would expect for the American innovation coins. But we didn't see that yet. So 198,528. I do believe that's going to be, uh, is it this one? Nope. And it's this one I was already there. Yeah, look at that, 201,661. So 201,661. It didn't, it didn't go down, but it didn't go up large, like bigly, right? So it's just a few thousand. Uh, the 23 proof set did add, actually, 369, 20, uh, 222. They did add some, um, and that is right over here with the 23 proof set, 369. 231 so 369 231 added nine of those sets instead of losing six let's keep on keeping on um silver proof set uncirculated mint sets 
I believe we are just trickling out with that 23 mid set. We know that there's a stated product limit of 185,000, which means they're going to have less than 9,000 of those bad boys available for sale for the rest of time. And then after that, they'll only be available on the secondary market. Okay, now let's go to those sales and see what we're at with those. Uh, we're at 176.4, and where are we at here? That's the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Nope, no, it's not. No, no, no. Where is it? I don't think I. I added it maybe i didn't there's the 23r let's go to just the 24r and see where we're at with that and then let's come back 24r there we go no, i guess oh duh <laughs> they haven't come out with that one <laughs> i'm losing my cookies all right here we go let's go back to the future here we go all right, that's 23ea and i think i was at 24r so let's go back to 23r and there we're talking about it right now. Uncirculated set, yep, 177098. 177098. Yeah, not too much, about four or five hundred. Not really going to Gonzo with those sales for these sets. Uh silver proof set, 191, 701. I think I already passed that at right over here. Um, right there. Yeah, actually, that's kind of uh that's kind of impressive, isn't it? Look at that. Silver proof set in 2023, 191. actually not so much i was looking at one down here i was like hey that's impressive but really it's not it's kind of want want yeah now let's get on to the final thing we're talking about here and that's going to be 23 ea and i'm actually kind of impressed from um the sales at of the american eagle that's the proof out of west point new york it's up to and this is um 23 ea that's last year uh, and that's still pretty good. Let's look at 24 EA also. Look at that, 20, uh, 242,250. That's remarkable. Uh, we still don't have any sales here, but look at this Look at this increase, 242,250 for the American Eagle, and that is right over here, 232,928. So we are definitely uh, increasing more than a 1% right there. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. And I don't think that the Proof Silver Eagle from 2024 is going to be one of the lowest minted ones. I think it's probably going to be around the um, the mintage of the 2019 West Point Proof, uh, ultimately. And that one, they didn't go too gonzo with. Now, with that said, let's head over to the Plus Ones. Blammo! That was pretty quick. That followed suit. Hey, this is Proverb 20, 22, 20, 22. It says, say not, I will repay evil wait for the lord to help you now this requires patience but it is a wise course of action because the lord will always take care of his own so you just sit back kick back relax and everything will be taken care of in due time that's what i'm talking about so yeah you don't have to do anything because you will be taken care of because he always takes care of his own now let's head over here to three nines by 99.9 K O I N Coin News Radio. This is one of my favorite bands. This is from when I was about 16 years old. This is Fishbone. It's in your face. It's the whole album right there, all the way from When Problems Arise, the selection, Charlie. Wish I had a date, movement in the light, give it up in the air, turn the other way, knock it, Simon says, and then post Cold War politics. Yeah, it's kind of punk rock, it's kind of ska. It's kind of fun, kind of funky. It's got a little bit of everything for everybody. Hopefully, you dig it as much as I do. Now, don't forget to go shopping on the Stacker Store. That'd be pretty sweet. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, stack, well, shop at the Stacker Store. <laughs> it's not free. Stacker up.